the formulation that Indian secularism protects among 950 million others, the world's second largest Muslim population, 130 million. Now, whenever you address issues on the subcontinent, shouldn't OIC members be sensitive to this massive minority? Yes, uh, uh, I believe uh, Muslims in India are a large population and certainly they can uh, play an important role in the uh, political affairs as well as social affairs of India and uh, there may be uh, different ways how to uh, be present in, in uh, OIC. Uh, one way may be to uh, be as observer or a guest or some other ways. Uh, but it has to be applied to OIC meeting, to OIC conference. What role would you assign India in resolving the problem of Afghanistan? India is one very important uh, country in this region. And it's quite natural for all the uh, members of the region to be concerned about developments in India in terms of uh, narcotics, in terms of uh, killings, in terms of insecurity. And uh, therefore, uh, India as well as uh, an important uh, country certainly has its own interests and concerns. Can you ever be friendly with the United States? Uh, there are very deep and uh, basic problems between Iran and the United States. Uh, the United States has tried to impose its policies against us, and we have very bad memories about the past uh, behaviors of uh, the United States against Iran and the current behaviors. That's why we have said that uh, the ball is in the court of Americans, that especially after uh, the new election in Iran, to change their behavior toward a country and a nation that themselves have uh, confessed that uh, it's a great nation, have done a democratic election, and the system enjoys full support of its people. Would you share this view that the, the U.S. influence both in Europe and in, in Gulf, uh, there's a question mark on that influence? You know, in the past, the American could dictate their policies on others. But uh, in the new international arena, there are different groupings different powers in different corners of the world and each of these powers are claiming for shares and therefore the United States cannot anymore apply its extraterritorial application I mean uh, apply its law to, to other territories which is called extraterritorial application of uh, uh, US laws and regulations this is not possible anymore that is why European countries rejected the Americans' demand to not invest in Iran on oil and petroleum. This is, to a certain extent, true for other countries as well. Nobody can claim that American or Western culture should be dominant all over the world because any culture has the right to exist. Dr. Harazi, thank you very much indeed.